So in thinking about that and thinking about the challenges we have with just the symptoms that go with ovarian cancer, is there any way to screen for ovarian cancer? This is such a, a critical issue, quite honestly. And so a screening test is really a test that gets used to find to try to find cancer, either a pre-cancer or an early cancer before it shows any symptoms. And so common screening tests that people have heard about before are colon cancer screening, colonoscopy, or sometimes people have heard of obviously mammograms and breast cancer screening. Unfortunately, there's not a um, screening test for ovarian cancer. Women will often tell me, you know what, wait a second, I had a pap test done, like everything was supposed to be normal last year. And so a pap smear test actually tests for cells of the cervix and for cervical cancer and precancer, but it doesn't tell us anything about what's happening inside the ovary. So that's a really important designation or distinction to realize that even if you've had a pap test that's normal, that doesn't tell you that you don't have ovarian cancer. So we don't have a good way to tell. A pelvic exam can check to see if there's an enlarged ovary or if there's a large obvious signs of fluid, but sometimes early tumors cannot, you can't find them that way. Sometimes we, you know, people often ask about this questions about, is there a blood test that I could just do? And there are, we know that there are women who have ovarian cancer that may have elevated levels of a specific protein called the CA125 or CA125, but this isn't a perfect test. It can be really high for other reasons. For example, a person who's pregnant or having a period or has bad fibroids or endometriosis. And so it's in many, many studies using hundreds of thousands of women, both in the United United States and in um, other countries, we know that using CA125 and using um, ultrasound, which I'll talk about in a second, really hasn't shown to find these early cancers and find, you know, improve survival. The transvaginal ultrasound, which is an ultrasound using a small probe that's inserted into the vagina can definitely identify if there's a mass on the ovary, but not always perfect at telling whether or not this mass is cancerous, but can help decide if somebody needs surgery. But again, for somebody who doesn't have any symptoms and is otherwise healthy and just going along, then an ultrasound or a CA125 would not be indicated as a screening test. That being said, if you're having significant symptoms or your doctor finds something, those are some tests that they may order, but that's not really sort of a healthy screening, if that makes sense. 